Dismal news out of Tesla today is the electric car company is reportedly laying off 10% of its employees, as first reported by Electric, a news and commentary site that covers electric vehicles. Add to that, two Tesla vice presidents announced their resignations today. Senior Vice President Andrew Beglino and Senior Global Director of Public Policy Rohan Patel, both saying on social media that they're leaving the company. In a post replying to commentary on the massive shakeups at Tesla, CEO Elon Musk writes about every five years, we need to reorganize and streamline the company for the next phase of growth. So in terms of the economy of the Austin area as a whole, it's quite minor. In terms of those people who are the unfortunate ones laid off, clearly it's not good, but there are lots of jobs available. That comes on the heels of a sharp drop in sales for the electric car company. In the first quarter of the year, Tesla sold nearly 9% fewer cars in the same time last year. The first year-over-year quarterly sales declined in nearly four years, according to the Associated Press. As the largest private employer in Austin, and now thousands of workers out of a job, layoffs at Tesla are likely to impact Austin's labor market, specifically in Dell Valley, where the company is headquartered. And it wasn't long ago, just last fall, that the United Auto Workers Union had said it was eyeing potential unionization at Tesla. Every time something like this happens, um, people start to feel insecure. People start to understand that in their current, you know, it may seem like it's good, but it can all change like that. And unless you have a real voice and a real opportunity to shape your future, you're at the whim of somebody else. We reached out to both the United Auto Workers Union and Tesla itself ahead of this story. We did not hear back. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.